Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today I've had a request from Alex who asked for a goose, so that's what we're going to be doing. So get yourself some plain white paper, a pencil, an eraser and a black pen and also some colouring pencils if you want to colour it in. Let's get started. We're going to start off our goose with a nice big oval shape here in the middle of the page and it's slightly tilted to the left hand side, so I'll show you what I mean. Just draw it super light in pencil because we're going to erase this afterwards so don't draw too heavily otherwise it will be a bit of a burden erasing it afterwards. There we go, something a bit like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, please don't spend ages doing this bit. It's literally just an oval shape. And remember if I go too quickly just hit pause and rewind. I'm going to be drawing the tail next. This is just like a, a triangle shape just coming out from the right hand side, just like this. Now for the neck, which is literally just a long stalk like this, about there, and then a circle on top of the stalk. Again, just a rough circle, it doesn't have to be perfect, as you can see mine is not. There we go. And the little beak on the left hand side, so just something like this. Okay, and then the eye. Just another little circle. Now for the feet, so one coming down here, then we take a turn to the left, just like that, then one coming out from here. So I'm switching to pen, but please carry on in pencil. This is just so that you can see better on camera. I'm going to start off with the beak. So just drawing a line across like this, then it comes down and then round like this to make the beak. It's kind of a bit bulbous at the end. Comes back in just like that. And then we're just going to add the bottom part of the beak. So that's literally just a line going round like this. Now we're just going to draw the nostril, which is just here, like a little hole. There we go. And some markings. One more there. Now for the rest of the head. So it's actually got a bit more of a flat head than the circle that we originally drew. Comes around like so. Comes all the way down until it hits this large oval shape. Now I'm going to draw the eye. So, got these little beady eyes. There we go. And then underneath the, like the chin area, just like this. And then we're going to carry on with the other side of the neck. When we get to about here, it starts going outwards a little bit. Just like that. And then we kind of cross this oval shape and go inwards to about there. We're now going to draw the back. So just following the oval shape that we did before, I'm just going to make it a little bit more bumpy because this is where the wings are going to go. Just like that. And there's a couple of feathers just poking out like so. And then now for the tail. So I draw a curved line like this and then we're just going to draw lots of feathers that make up the tail. Just like this. And then going downwards. All the way to there. Now for the rest of the wing tucked in. So it goes like this. Goes round. So did you know that a goose is a term for a female goose? <laughs> Male geese are actually called ganders. So yeah. And a group of geese on land or water are called a gaggle. And in the air, they're called a, a skein or a skein. It's spelled S-K-E-I-N. And um, yeah, you can tell me how you pronounce that. Because I've only seen it being written, so put a comment in the comment section below how you'd say it phonetically. Okay, so now we're doing the bottom bit here. Like that. 
and then this large foot. There we go. It's one digit. They're quite sinewy, these feet. One at the back, and then another digit here. With a little nail. There we go. Obviously they've got webbed feet, so we draw those in. There we go. And then we can now finish off this area. Just like that. I used little dashes there, um, just to show that it's a little bit feathery. So now for the front leg. Comes down around like so. And then for the front foot. So geese are very loyal and they mate for life. And they also, they exhibit mourning behavior if their partner or if their, um, if their baby dies. They're very sociable animals. So just doing this one here. And then coming up all the way like this. Just adding some sinewy bits there. So when they fly, they form a V formation. Uh, and then when the lead goose gets tired, another goose can then take over. You've seen it in the sky sometimes. Okay, so now if you haven't gone over it in pen, go over it in pen and erase all the pencil marks. Okay, we're just gonna draw a couple of little details, so just a little bit of shadow underneath the beak and a tiny bit of shadow just underneath here and underneath the body. Just using some diagonal lines just to create the illusion of shadow. Just like this. A bit more under here and here. And then just underneath the goose like here. Excellent. If you really want to make it come to life, then just grab some colouring pencils. You only really need an orange. And then just colour in the beak in orange. And the eye as well. And then the feet. If you really want to go all out, then just add some grey underneath here. Give it a bit more form. And to soften the shading a little bit, I just use an eraser to kind of blend it all together. You don't have to do much. I'm just going to add a little bit more ground. Kind of like swampy kind of ground here. A little bit of green. And then a tiny bit of red. You make a mistake like I do, just erase it, just like that. We all make mistakes, so absolutely fine to go back and erase it. And there we have our finished goose. And I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then check out this video. You're gonna absolutely love it. And I really hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.